guys, how's it going? It's uh, Raj Patton here from bizasialive.com. It's been a few days uh, since I've uh, done a live here, so uh, quite excited about being live with you guys. Now, um, can I just say before I get my guest on, uh, you can always watch our interviews back, or there's a lot of uh, interviews that uh, we have done uh, during lockdown time and also after the lockdown as well here in the UK, which you can always check on our YouTube channel. So do subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can find all our uh, lives. All right? not, not, all, not the beginning ones because, as you know, um, there wasn't a facility to do that with uh, Instagram, but now you can check them all out. But how's it going? Are you guys all keeping well? Huh? I know um, parts of the UK are being lifted in terms of lockdown. Uh, what about where you guys are? How are things with you? Are you keeping well? Would love to hear from you. Remember, if you've got any questions for my special guest, then do kind of tap them on, and I would like to see them uh, in the comments field here, right? So what's going to happen is I am bringing to you um, someone that I've spoken to quite a few times. In fact, if, if it's not my radio show, then it's been um, in person. I uh, met him when I was uh, on the sets of Sanjeevni. There's been a lot of you that have been asking for his interview as well, the dashing hunk that he is, all right? So uh, I'm going to be welcoming Namit Khanna, who will be here with me shortly. We're talking about, generally, about lockdown. We'll also be talking about his TV work as well and what he's got planned in terms of future work. Like I said, so if you've got any questions, then do post them on the uh, comments field. It'll be great to kind of get you guys interactive with us, all right? So um, I'm just going to see if Namit is on, because if he is, then great, let me add him on. So I'm just going here, and I see around. Let's see if it connects. And by the way, I've got my lockdown here, right? Which is why it's a bit of a mess. Oh, hi, Namit. What's up, Raj? How are you, bro? What's up? How's it going? Good. It's going good. How are you? Uh, How's... Really, really good. How are things with you? How's lockdown? How's this is a the... different look, by the way, I think, from what I've seen you before. I like it. Namit. I, I do you know what it is? It's uh, the lockdown look. So I mean, I've got yeah, yeah. going on because no barbers open, so I can't. And and do you know what? The UK generally has open in terms of the country lockdown, but in Leicester, where I am, um, yeah. we've got our localized lockdown. So I'm here for another oh, two okay. weeks yet. Yeah. But what about you? You've got this new look thing going on as well. You're very shiny, by the way. Very glossy. Yeah, I think I just put some face cream and it's shining a bit too much, but <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It works. It's good. Oh, but, but it. <laughs> it's not the lockdown look, though. <laughs> it's not. It's not the lockdown look. <laughs> no. Is this a post lockdown look? This is just a post shower look. Oh, okay. What are those ones? As a Namit, how's things with you? With you? I mean, uh, I'm, uh, so how long has it been? I think I spoke to you back in. Was it December? It was December when I was on the sets of the show. Yeah, when you came to Bombay. Yeah, exactly. Yes, that's so, right. Uh, so seven has, months, yeah. It's been a while. Seven months. Uh, seven, who would have thought, I mean, when we spoke in December, we're going to be living in a, a global pandemic. Oh, I mean, man. Look, at, look how things have changed. Totally, man. It's it just unimaginable. But um, having said that, it's, uh, I mean, at least for me, I can speak for myself personally. Things haven't been that bad. I mean, uh, there's a lot that I've kind of learned during the lockdown and... Uh, fortunately, I have kept myself busy doing uh, things that I like to do, and mm -hmm. I think that's uh, I think that's the most important thing. You know, keep yourself uh, occupied, yeah. and you will not know when. Already three and a half months have just gone by, in a jiffy. Completely, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so when you say uh, keep yourself occupied, what have you been doing to keep yourself occupied? What's the things? So yeah, I mean, the first thing um, that took up most of my time during the lockdown was uh, the new website that I've launched for myself. So it's called uh, namithkanna.com. So those of you who haven't seen it, please go ahead and check it out. But uh, so, yeah, that took up a lot of time, you know, to kind of start everything from scratch, put everything online. And of course, there's a lot more that will be coming up and upload. we, we will be uploading it uh, real soon. Um, that was one of the things. Then, of course, uh, feeding myself. So <laughs> the initial days, the first two and a half months went in uh, just, you know, household uh, jobs that I wasn't doing earlier. And yeah. I had to kind of get acquainted to it and then master it to a certain extent. Um, yeah, and, but, uh, but fortunately, I was able to come back home in Delhi. And that's where I am right now. And it's been a month. And it's, I think uh, it's a blessing to be with family and have things done for you, which uh, we did take for granted when we were younger. But uh, um, yeah. 
<laughs> I, I, I wanna, I wanna, you know what? There's so many points that you've raised there, and I'm making notes because what it is, <laughs> I want to, I want to go through each of those points. First of all, the website. I'm quite excited yeah. about the website now. Even when I saw the announcement on your social media, I thought this is great yeah. because you don't get many actors. I mean, there's not many, there's not many in the industry that have uh, websites as such because they use Instagram or social media as their kind of website right. or their tool. So where did the Absolutely. idea come from? So the whole idea was that uh, because I mean I'm it's not just for me as an actor it's primarily for me as a photographer and I've been uh, shooting for a really long time but I don't have an outlet or a one stop place for somebody to come and see uh, all the work that I've done and I I've, I've been really excited to actually share it you know so uh, for me it was either Facebook or uh, Instagram but that's not the real place where I want uh, my pictures to be displayed and they need to be displayed in a certain way and there's a lot to be displayed so yeah. um, so that was the primary idea you know to as a as a photographer to have a place to showcase and most photographers have a website i mean that's the basic so i decided that you know why not add the other facets of my personality and uh, my work and put it all together so it will cater to a larger audience and yeah. it is in the end it's me you know yeah. so if you want to know anything about me uh, that's the place you'll find all the answers. And um, yeah, it's like, it's my own Facebook. It's my own Instagram. It's uh, so it's kind of personalized and it's a lifelong thing. You know, it's not just uh, for the summer. It's uh, pretty much uh, something that I will keep for a long time and keep it's, updating. It's, it's, it's like a portfolio of all your work really. So you keep it all in one place, which is great. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it talks about my uh, TV shows. It talks about my photography. I mean, I've started to write some articles where I can express myself and my experiences in all these years uh, about my travel stuff, which I'm superbly excited about. So it's uh, things that I've done in the past is archived there. And plus what I will be doing in the future, you know, it will it will have it has, uh, you know, a, a side where uh, things that are coming up will be put on there. So, you know, it, it kind of builds that excitement. And eventually uh, the plan was to have a live a live button on it as well. So instead of doing this live, we will do a live on my website. Oh, so that nice. would be pretty cool. <laughs> I like that idea. That's a great idea. Um, but yeah. it, is, it is also a good tool to use as a resume because there's a lot Absolutely. of people that would like to go into websites rather than go into Instagram or whatever. Because, I mean, you know how yeah. things are on social media can be quite toxic. Uh, so it'd be Absolutely. great to kind of have something that's official, that's directly yours, and you can go into your website just to find everything Absolutely. there. Absolutely. And, and in another way, it's, uh, it's also brand building. So, uh, you know, it kind of makes me a bit more serious as a photographer uh, to have my work displayed for everybody to see. And of course, people can even purchase them in due time, uh, yes. c certain Ooh. pictures. Yeah, nice. So, uh, <laughs> Interesting. So you've got, you definitely got some thinking behind it, which is great because when we see a website, we're like, okay, great. An artist has launched a website. You know, it's a one-stop kind of tool to go there uh, for information about, say, Namib Kana. Um, but you've got some other thinking behind it, you know, that the live interaction, the, yeah, the mem yeah. you know, getting, getting memorabilia from you or photos officially from you. Absolutely. It's, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a great thing. Um, and let me, I, I got to admit one thing to you. You know, when I saw your website, I was like, this is brilliant. Yeah. I mean, the website is amazing anyway. And I've been working on my website for a few months now because i mean i had a website but i had a few issues with it uh yeah, it went yeah. off and now i'm bringing it back up and only when i yeah. saw your website i thought you know what that's it i'm gonna get a bit more active and my website's <laughs> also launching as well <laughs> nice nice so at least so that's another point you know so i wanted to also inspire others to kind of do something productive and uh, especially during the lockdown so so yeah there you go you done it. You've done it. Well, you've inspired I me. I did it. Sure. Yes. You definitely pushed me. So my, my website's launching as well. I might as well kind of plug that in about two weeks' time. <laughs> oh, nice. Good luck for it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, um, uh, you also mentioned Delhi as well. I mean, obviously, you're in Delhi at the moment. Um, what I mean, what are you missing? I mean, now that you're spending a lot more time in Delhi um, and uh, not being in Mumbai for, for, for a few months, uh, tell yeah. us what, what kind of aspects of Delhi have you been missing and what have you been getting up to? I think uh, being at home, being with your family, uh, having, you know, food given to you on the platter every single day. Uh, I think those are the conveniences that, I mean, of course, they were there, but it's a very different. There's a lot of love that is put into it, uh, which obviously is missing in Bombay because I live alone and yeah. I have help, but it's a different scenario, you know. Yeah. Uh, apart from that, uh, to be honest, I mean, uh, even though I've been back for a month, there hasn't been much activities for me to do beyond, uh, you know, probably meeting my uh, niece and nephew and my sister, because uh, things are still kind of restricted uh, in terms of uh, meeting others and going out. 
So um, having said that, just being at home, you know, I, it just that itself is uh, it's something that I'm enjoying because uh, I haven't been back in Delhi for almost a year. And since I moved to Bombay, which is almost 13 years ago, I've I've never been uh, in Delhi for longer than maybe 10 days. So oh, this okay. is uh, this is great, you know, the longest period, which is good. I mean, you're getting to do things like I mean, like, like you said, uh, that you couldn't really do. Um, because of Mumbai and also you're getting to kind of explore some of the things that you did as a kid in Delhi. So absolutely. Uh, it's good. I mean, I'm, I'm planning to start tennis really soon. In fact, I went and did because those tennis courts have started, uh, they opened up uh, and you're only allowed to play singles. And that's something I used to miss in Bombay a lot. So, so yeah, that's the plan. Next couple of days, maybe I'm going to start it. You know, I think I've already set it up, uh, whatever I needed to do. And uh, so that's going to happen and that's going to be fun. It For sounds sure. brilliant. No, wish you all the best with that. Um, and and the, I mean, I'm getting messages as well from fans that they're saying there's a lot of the, a, a daylight currently in Delhi. At, is it 6 p.m. in uh, India at the moment? So you you seem to have a lot more light than other people that are watching in India at the moment. Oh really? <laughs> Which parts then, of India are they? I know. And the and the uh, and the greenery as well it looks amazing at the back. Oh yeah, that's that's green, really nice. Yeah. So this is right outside my uh, balcony uh, from the living room in Delhi. So we have like a huge park out there and it's all green and it's really nice. So I go there for a run at times. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. I mean, what, what are the challenges you faced while you were in lockdown? Were there things that uh, you missed a lot? The things that say you couldn't do because of the lockdown? I mean, I think workout is probably one thing that a lot of people have been saying. See, on the work front, uh, I think I was, uh, again, kind of blessed because uh, we just about finished uh, shooting for Sanjeevni a week before the entire lockdown happened in India. So, so I was kind of in a good space in terms of uh, the jobs done. Um, uh, what I missed, I mean, I think the challenges for me were initially to kind of get the basic groceries, figuring out how to make, uh, I mean, I, I knew basic cooking, but then uh, that wasn't enough because uh, I'm a foodie, so I wanted to eat something different and something uh, tasty. So, you know, there was this whole struggle to um, cook a meal and, um, enough to have it for the next three meals. I mean, that kind of scene as a bachelor. But but yeah, I mean, I managed to do it. Uh, and I think I did a pretty decent job uh, yeah. to feed myself. Mm. And Jav, <laughs> yeah. you look amazing. Um, I, do, I mean, I do want to ask you, I mean, I want to go back to your shows now because you mentioned Sajivni. Yeah. And uh, when, we, when we met in December, we did actually talk about the, the kind of track that the show was taking because you were trying yeah. everything in terms of sure. bringing the show back. Um, your, your, I mean, your background obviously wasn't acting and you came in from the, the modeling side and obviously the photography side and you came yeah. in. Do you feel, I mean, the kind of, I mean, I've, uh, every time I've interviewed you, the, the, the thing that I've learned from you is that you like unique, you like the kind of hot kick on a show as well than doing the same as one of the mirror, you know, because as an actor, I see, I see that you're a bit more kind of challenging to, and, you know, you want to do some more kind of innovative kind of work. So where where are you now with with shows and you know where we've come from with Sanjeevni and Yepya Nehito? So what would you say? I I mean completely agree to what you're saying because uh, for me it's it's really about uh, you know giving a part of you to a project and that you will never be able to take back and I will always be attached to that project for the rest of my life. So it's really important to choose it wisely and um, uh, so that uh, obviously means that you know I got to make sure that um, I personally am interested or excited about the storyline and my character and so on and so forth. So, so having said that, I mean, I think I've done pretty well to pick my projects so far. Uh, moving forward, I would still want to like, uh, you know, pursue things which are ideally in the finite zone. So I can really put in that effort and, uh, you know, for that two, three months, maybe four months, max to max six months and then move on. Uh, I think that kind of appeals to me more uh, where, again, I have to uh, really choose the people I work with, who I enjoy working with, who have the same ideals, who want to achieve the same goal with that project. And um, we all are equally invested in it. So yeah. uh, those are the parameters for me. And I think, uh, yeah, with, with the current scenario, things might take a while for me to, uh, you know, get to that point. But uh, I'm in no rush. I'm in no hurry. 
we're, we're gonna we're gonna come back we're gonna come back to the content side of things but i just want to say hi to knuckle because knuckle has just sent a message Hello. i believe uh knuckle says sending love both uh, these amazing men also beer looks great on you raj knuckle it's not beer <laughs> it does. Keep. It's, it's, uh, it's something that i've temporarily kept just because of the lockdown but yeah uh, but, but anyway, it's cool it's a different look uh, thank you i mean if you're saying it uh and you of course being from a, a modeling background chill, maybe i've got some uh, I still got something in me to do some modeling then maybe, you know? Yeah, <laughs> For <but> sure. <laughs> but where's your brother? I want to see your brother with you <laughs> at some point. He's actually, in, Bir- he's actually in Birmingham. So when, uh, Birmingham, I mean, okay. I'm in Leicester at the moment. So uh, okay. when, I, when I'm with him next, I mean, I'm missing him. I've not seen him in such a long time either. So when I see yeah. him, I'll make sure I'll send you um, a couple of pictures. You must. <laughs> That'd yeah. be cool. Definitely. Uh, Namitsa, I mean, the content side I was going to talk about because I know, I mean, I mean you mentioned, uh, you know, in no rush in terms of uh, getting good content. We, we know that, uh, you know, where we've been with lockdown and where we've been watching a lot of the innovative shows have been on digital platforms. We know that you yeah. also explore digital platforms. Is that something else you want to kind of go into so that you can say, you know what, you've done something away from the whole television side, the run of the mill stuff that's not happening, happening on TV? Uh, yes, absolutely, man. So, uh, but I, as of now, I mean, I am, I am just going to be patient. I think that's the wise thing to do and, and see what opportunities come my way. And I am actually exploring some uh, opportunities on the web. And I definitely uh, would be happy to go ahead and uh, be associated with the project, like you mentioned, which has more, which is content oriented and uh, which kind of uh, excites me more. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, you know, uh, just like Andar Ki Baat, yeah, you know, when Sanjeevni was going on <laughs> towards uh, the end of the show, I'm sure that you're feeling a little bit lethargic because you're probably like, um, same old, same old, you know what I mean? Tell us a bit yeah. about, you know, how you felt, uh, you know, when you started getting the, the kind of, because the storyline changed dramatically from the hospital to the more kind of Absolutely. romance angle. Tell us, tell us about that. Uh, I mean, I kind of moved on from the whole aspect of the storyline. I mean, I think we discussed this as well uh, when you were in Bombay. But uh, again, I mean, uh, being an actor and uh, at the stage uh, I'm at in my career, I really didn't see uh, much I could do about it. And uh, at the same time, I mean, I still had to uh, finish the job I was given, you know, so character was still there and I had to move on and and uh, get him home and which I did. And I think uh, rest is fate, man. <laughs> Things like that. I mean, you can't really dwell on it. And uh, yeah, especially when you don't have any say in the matter. Yeah. So I, I think, uh, yeah, I think things uh, with time and as you progress in your career, uh, I probably will have uh, be in a better space uh, or position to give you the insight <laughs> and comment a bit more. <laughs> I know. I think. I think. I think. A lot of the uh, off-air chat. I think that was good. That time, the honesty was so good. Uh, but hey, I know there will be a right time and place <laughs> for that. Um, and Namita, uh, we yeah. mentioned the content side of things. Um, do you think the uh, producers on, say, TV channels now will be more under pressure because we've seen so much, we've sampled so much on digital platforms that yeah. people are yeah. actually hungry for different kind of content on television, right? On on, on linear television. Uh, absolutely. But at the same time, I think there's, uh, there's a huge, uh, I mean, there's a different set of people who watch the shows that we, uh, that the Indian TV, I mean, uh, that we see on Indian television. So having said that, I think those people will still and are still uh, used to that kind of content. And, and the people like us who are more used to the uh, digital platforms uh, are craving for better and um, newer content. Uh, so I guess they will kind of make that shift gradually. But I also know for a fact that whenever they've tried, it's backfired and then they have to go back to their original formulas. So uh, so you never know. I mean, of course, there is pressure and there, is, there are restrictions and there are things that uh, are going to be tougher than before, especially with the current scenario. But uh, yeah, the shift is necessary. And I think uh, with due time, it will. So as well as uh, content, obviously, we know that money is also scarce at the moment but with the way things are, because everyone's looking at their budgets after this pandemic. Yeah. As, a, as an actor uh, and obviously working in, in the talent kind of uh, field, tell us, how does that impact, uh, you know, personalities like yourself? Well, um, I think each and every actor or artist, whoever is doing uh, whatever job in their own respective fields, uh, there's a progression and there's a... Uh, you know, you grow with time and that's where you, your, your monies and your, uh, 
your cost increases and that's that's primarily because of your experience you know and your uh, demand in the market so i think each and every one of us who is in the industry has kind of reached a certain uh, price point based on your uh, hard work and and the effort that you've put in over the years so yeah. i don't think it's it's fair to actually you know use this as an excuse because the job remains the same if yeah. not more and and the conditions are tougher and uh, you know uh, probably the 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 business aspect of it will remain the same or you know probably can get even better so uh, i mean why why should we always take the brunt and take the onus and uh, you know reduce the price but having said that uh, it it's each and every person's own prerogative and it's yeah. their choice what they choose to do whether they want to give a discount or not so so yeah so namit what's happening with you next i mean when are you back from delhi and when are you back to work well it just uh, it's a matter of me finally choosing something or coming across a project where uh, i mean which which needs me back in bombay but at the same time i'm completely convinced about it and i'm excited to uh, go ahead and and do it so so yeah i mean i'm i'm in no rush and i'm i'm going to just uh, hang in there and i i mean i have like i said i have been keeping myself busy with few other things uh, which i will uh, share very soon uh, but uh, at the same time it's uh, I mean it's all good man it's just a matter of time so, so nothing so, on the cards right now so so is there nothing that you've said red or I'm sure you've had offers during the lockdown is there nothing that's uh, enticed you to come back to or Mumbai um mm, that's been no. that interesting not not worth the risk of uh, going back to work so soon uh, and also not exciting enough for me to leave the comforts of my home and go back and <laughs> you know go through the grind again Uh, okay and this big announcement that you're going to be making uh, I'm quite intrigued about what you're working on. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to give me it's, some it's, hint as to what it is. It's something um it's 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 not the acting aspect it's the other part of my personality <laughs> so it's something really cool and something again uh, it's a one off like my website. So um so yeah I mean I I can't share it but I I mean I will share it the way it's supposed to when the time You're going to share right. it on your website, right? Uh everywhere. <laughs> So so you'll okay, see I, it. So yeah so the other aspect that I know of you is uh, a photographer or the yeah. modeling side. I don't think it's a modeling so I think it's a photography side. That says it all. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Hot or cold? I yeah. think uh, how you're... hot was I? <laughs> Pretty hot. <laughs> There you go. And let me I okay so when things go back to say some normality um and yeah. say traveling is going to be back on the agenda You know, yeah. I know that you love traveling. So, yeah. what about plans? I mean, you know, be traveling. Where would you like to go as a first stop for you? Dude, uh, so many places that I've shortlisted. I mean, uh, it all depends on uh, uh, you know the feasibility and the permissions that our country would have. Because as of now, we're not allowed to go anywhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, having said that, I think uh, uh, the the places that are top of my list uh, is uh, one of them is Turkey. Uh, maybe go to Europe. Uh, I wanted to go to Iceland but I don't know if that's happening. Uh go to the US. I have some friends in San Francisco who have been um, after my life to do a road trip across the states. So so that's that's one thing uh, on the cards for sure and I already have my visa so it's just about getting permissions to travel. And uh, yeah, I mean um, uh yeah, I mean uh, even Maldives and uh, uh Bali are on yeah. the cards but yeah, it all depends on uh, whichever is uh, feasible. And Namit um I remember uh, when I was in Mumbai we were talking about partying and all sorts tell me the kind of person that you are because you seem like very kind of uh, a chill that kind of guy but are you the kind of person to be completely ooh, ooh, uh you know when you go out crazy you got you know having a few drinks and you know um having fun with the lads uh, are you the are you that kind of person uh or are you the kind of person that will sit in a bar and just have a few drinks quietly <laughs> I think the latter but having said that I think I've had uh, my share of fun um uh, uh back in the day i mean uh college uni then even during my modeling years there was so much i did uh so many parties and so many events that we were uh contractually supposed to be at so <laughs> so yeah i mean i've had fun so, uh, then i kind of reached a space where i kind of realized that this is not something that is um, adding much value to my life and i'm not really excited about it so i mean i rather do a nice chill out dinner or go out to a nice restaurant or go out and go to a friend's house and have drinks and 
uh, the other way around. So that's what I enjoy doing. Uh, but at the same time, when I'm traveling, I I I love to party. I mean, I love to uh, go out and do different things. I mean, being in the same city and going out and partying kind of gets repetitive. So it's just yeah. better for me to uh, explore uh, newer countries, newer cultures, and new places and, and party like how they do in each country right it, absolutely yes i'd embrace that culture um yeah. a, a question also um youtube i mean there's a there's fans asking about youtube uh, are you going to be uploading more videos on there on your youtube channel i am i am actually uh, i've been working on it and there's uh, i'm actually trying to get some help as well because uh, my video editing skills are uh, i mean i've again started them from pretty much scratch uh, during the lockdown so I, I mean, once you put up something, you can't really pull it, pull back, pull it back down. So I'm actually, you know, trying to get it better and better. And for that, I'm asking for some help. And so that's why it's getting a little delayed. But I, I intend to put in, uh, put at least uh, maybe two or three videos at least in a month uh, to start with, uh, till the lockdown is open. I mean. Do you know, talking about YouTube, um, there's a lot of celebrities that are doing music videos at the moment. You're appearing in different songs. Yeah. Does that not interest yeah. you? It does. It does. In fact, I am in talks about a couple of them. I mean, of course, it's not materialized yet, but I'm open to it as long as um, I enjoy the song. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, good. You, you don't want to do anything that's going to be too wild or anything that's going to be not your personality, right? You want to do something that's exactly. Be I mean, it's something that I should I should have some connect with, you know. So um, so that's important for me. I think uh, just not doing things for the sake of you know, getting paid for it. Uh, Mustafa, than... Mustafa, by the way, Mustafa said, I watched your video 50 plus times already. That must be your oh, wow. video on YouTube. So thank you, Mustafa. There's a, there's a lot of people. Um, there's a question also. I mean, the, every time when I ask uh, anyone, anytime I do an interview with any, uh, any star, uh, they always ask yeah. about Big Boss. Uh, would Big <laughs> Boss not interest you? I mean, you've got a lot of time now, haven't you? Oh, no. Uh, I don't know if I should say it, but no, I, I am not really keen on it. Uh, and I've kind of declined the offer to be a participant, but oh, you, uh, so, so you were approached. Oh, yeah, I, I was. But I mean, yeah, it's something that I don't think is some uh, something I want to do at this point uh, in my career, because I think I've just started off and uh, I want to act. Yeah? I mean, I want to do I don't want to do reality so soon. Uh, but yeah, having said that, I'm not going to say no to it completely. But for now, yes, for now, now I, I will give it a pass. And let me, I also want to ask you, you know, the kind of transition you had from um, your modeling side to becoming an actor. What yeah. things have you learned as a celebrity? Because obviously it's quite, you know, it's quite, um, uh, you're quite public with everything, aren't you? So everything is being kind of uh, under a, under a micro scanner because you can see, and you know, your every move, what you're doing, you know, on yeah. social media, when you step out of the house. You know, how have you found all that, the, the kind of switch from, from that side to? To be honest, I mean, it's something... Uh, I am aware of, but at the same time, it's not something that has kind of come in the way so far and I haven't experienced much of it uh, because most of the time when I was uh, shooting uh, for my previous show and Sanjeevni, I didn't have much time to go out and experience uh, experience the, the celebrity status, as you said. But uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's all online now. I mean, whatever it is, uh, whatever I see, it's the love and the appreciation and the you know, messages from fans all across. Uh, that is what I uh, am experiencing. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, I guess uh, the change is, isn't, hasn't been that drastic from the modeling days because there were quite a few admirers at that point as well. So, uh, so now, yeah, it's just uh, the, the scale has increased, uh, but I haven't really experienced the... Uh, you know how it is when you're out and when you're actually meeting them in person because yeah. uh, now obviously the the connect is way uh, more deeper because they actually they've seen me over and over again day after day uh, in the other in many episodes so so that connect becomes deeper uh, so yeah i mean I'm, I'm actually looking forward to experiencing that uh, that side of it no it's good i mean one thing i've have noticed over the last few weeks is a lot more of namit khanna which is i think probably an intentional is that an intentional move the fact that you're a yeah, lot more yeah. giving a lot more interviews your uh, the news stories are appearing as well and i feel quite proud for, from because i followed your journey from your first show to <laughs> where you are now so it's it's great to see that no no it's it is intentional definitely because i mean uh, now that i have the time and uh, you know we are at home so so why not make use of it and uh, be 
be seen and be heard and uh, you know have interactions like these which is which is fun it's like for me it's just actually catching up and and uh, you know uh, also having the fans to uh, be able to connect and see me and get to know me a little better so so the bond doesn't kind of diminish and um, fade away and it only grows stronger and stronger for my future and uh, future projects it's great it's absolutely great what you're doing um there's a question also about duolingo i've not heard of duolingo but uh, <laughs> yeah. have you left the app oh no i haven't left it but i've been really un- inactive uh, it's it's the it's the app where you can learn any language and okay. i've been, i've been doing a bit of uh, spanish during the lockdown yeah. so yeah. i kind of shared that with everyone and i had like a 64 65 day streak uh which i lost <laughs> so probably they're uh curious about uh, if i'm on it or not but i w- yeah. i do intend on going back yeah it's probably a, a little breather because i've been kind of busy with a few other things uh, uh like i shared before <laughs> yeah yeah you yeah, and you, you, you it seems quite good to me there i mean i know Both, you know, yeah i'm sweating and also the yeah. coffee that i had black coffee has caught me uh, got me like uh, you know <laughs> because i decided to do this outdoor and i'm like okay uh, this will be different and I'm, uh, yeah i'm, I'm, I'm all I'm, like I'm, I'm, Yeah, I can tell. I can tell. Yeah, you're very drenched. I don't know whether it's uh, my impact on you or whether it's just the heat there. <laughs> it is. Um, it I'm is. Gonna, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go, and uh, obviously freshen up because I know that yeah, uh, yeah. you know you're 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 you're, you're steaming there. Um, but uh, have you got a final message for all your fans? What would you like to say to everyone? Ex- you know, especially for your UK fans, that give you so much love. Oh yeah, UK fans. Uh, I mean, all fans in general. I would just, uh, as usual, just uh, appreciate their love and and send my love and. and big tight hug to each one of you uh, wherever you are whether you're watching this or you will watch it later um, so yeah all my love to you and can i just say there's a, there, oh, thank you so much namit you know there's still people saying that how can is there abhi tak sunset nahi hui i mean this question <laughs> about can we just tell can we just say this is live yeah so in the uk it's just after 2:30 in the afternoon in yeah, india it's yeah. 7 o'clock 7 o'clock in the evening yeah it's 7 Seven. All right, so we are live. All right, I don't want you to think I see so... <laughs> recording here and uh, we're just playing it back. All right, so no, this is absolutely live. Uh, all right, Namit, I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, thank you. All the best with everything, and we shall catch up again very, very soon. For sure, man. Thank you so much, Raj, for uh, for this chat and Namitkanna dot com. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> all the best. Thank you so much. All right. Thank, thank you. you. See you guys. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. Thank bye. you. Bye bye. Bye. Change of shirt now. <laughs> you can do that here if you want. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> you hang up and then I will. <laughs> right, see you soon, right? Bye. See you, Raj. Bye. 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 Ah, uh, there you go. That's uh, Namit Khanna.